Ladies and gentlemen, I am Israel, the game is Star Trek Online, and welcome once again to Foundry Frolics. Today's mission is by Rogue Enterprise. It is Flashpoint Q. It's a four star, we'll see how it goes. Starfleet has recently taken a small planet from the Klingons, just a small one, nothing big, and they are building a small base, just a small one, nothing big, to protect it presumably from a small counterattack. Not a big counterattack, you understand. We've been ordered to help, but a certain omnipotent being has also taken an interest, and well, the Klingons are going to be getting involved. Woohoo! The question is, of course, which Q will it be? Will it be the original devilishly handsome Q, his sometime estranged wife, or that teenage brat? Well, I think I've got my suspicions at this point. Let's hail and start the mission. We've received a tactical report that a small clone base in the Zarantine system has been defeated, and some Starfleet Marines have set up an outpost on the planet's surface. They're all dead. I don't care how it's going to happen, whenever we get there they're usually either dead or dying, but let's get to the Zarantine system. When I remember where we left the Zarantine system, that might be a good place to start. Helm, hand me the map. And welcome to the Zarantine system. Let's see, we're at sublight speeds, no Klingons in the sector, and... That's a good question. Why were they out here in the first place, you know, beyond the fact that they're Klingons and they're spoiling for a fight? Does it have no strategic value? Not particularly. On the other hand, the amount of resources they put on the base could have been better dive what the, what the, what the? Uh, you'll stay the course of the Um, oh, uh, all stop. Get me an analysis. I... Q... Sense of probes are being reflected, and yeah, that's not good of engineering stairs. Peeling up, what was that? Oh, great. Oh, no, no, I'm a representative of the United Federation of Planets. This isn't going well, is it? Status report. Well, that was definitely Q. Apparently, he's back to his old tricks. Then again, maybe it's another different queue, and we were able to pass through the field no damage. Let's go rendezvous with the Domino Justitia. I think that's how you pronounce that. Rendezvous with the Starfleet ship. Hopefully they haven't all been turned into monkeys or sheep. Stranger things have happened. And... Oop, they are hailing us. Yes, ship commander, come in. Ah, commander, yes, we are receiving. I don't think we've met before. Uh, yeah, I noticed. Did you see what happened to our ship? Negative and nothing seemed like only Ah, right. Little bit of temporal manipulation as well. What's happened to your CO? So he went down to the planet and then it all went to hell 30 minutes ago. And some very strange transporter failures. Well, define strange. All are functional, including transporters, which means that something very funny is about to happen. That picked up on my end, yep, laying a course for the planet. And then take a quick gander at the star base, which is kind of pretty. Very shiny little old school base there. To the planet. Give me a standard orbit. Transporters are locked. And the usual heavily armed away team. Okay, so the base commander is to be drawn by the name of Strick, and Captain Nimi should be around here somewhere, and the base is still very much under construction. Speaking of heavily armed away teams, I should probably get them some new guns. I'm running a few too many sniper rifles. Maybe some of those new withering disruptor mini guns will do the trick. If I hadn't... Ah, there we are. The base isn't being guarded. All the fortifications are intact. Stay sharp. Okay. Ah, right. Okay. I think we just found out what happened to the Marines. Yeah, come on. There we go. Ah, Commander Strick. Good of you to sh show up and not be partying. See how this facility is from... No, we're from a different ship. Oh, it's good to have us around the... Beach party is other beach paraphernalia. 
and the umbrella will just appear wherever he ends up standing. Have you seen Captain Nimi? She was heading off to the power station. What about your situation? Okay, we're on our way. Personally, I'd be quite grateful. He's got portable shade wherever he wants it and wherever he doesn't want it, which is perhaps why he's a little more annoyed. Ah, the Mark V open air reactors. They were decommissioned because they had a tendency to spontaneously overload and, oh dear. Captain, you appear to have a slight infestation here. Uh, I'm looking for Captain Nimi. Uh, hat and the tools are floating up. Are they getting in the way very much? No, yes, I'm looking for a missing starship captain. Okay, the shuttle landing pad. Terrific. Well, I suppose we could just have them land on the super happy party people. Why is Q... Uh, it's Q. Why am I even bothering to ask why? Because it amuses him is usually a good explanation. Still, I suppose at least they're super happy fun party people and not super unhappy psycho stabby party people. Just you wait. Uh, right, Captain Q, you're. No, you're not Starfleet, are you? Uh -huh. This isn't the time for partying. And the penalty box of breaking up her party. Okay, just great. Um, Captain Nimi, there you are. Now let's see if we can get her out of the penalty box. Excellent, you're welcome. <sighs> I have a sneaking suspicion about this, Captain. I was afraid of that. Well, well, stranger things have happened on Riser, but they generally stay on Riser. <sighs> okay, puny career at long double the speed. Yes, wonderful. Um, what's the queue doing here? Fair enough. You're not talking. Were you the one that trapped us here? Yep, that was me, and right now partying's the only way to go. Ah, terrific. You need to leave. Now. Okay. Right, fine. Let's go and see what's happened to the base commander, who I imagine is still stuck under his umbrella. Commander, we have a good news, bad news situation, and the good news, I'm afraid, is not is that it isn't the Klingons. The bad news, it's... Well, ah, right, you know what I was saying about super stabby party-goers? Why did I open my mouth? Come on, down you go. Pop. Okay, last orders, ladies and gentlemen. Last orders. Yoink. Something distinctly undignified about this. On the other hand, it's no worse than putting down a bunch of Orion pirates. Come on, down you go. Yoink, there we are, and... Well, I suppose we vaporised him. Ah! Admiral Q, decided to promote yourself, I see. Ah, well, I still outrank you. I'm a fleet admiral, thank you very much. Uh -huh. Q... Uh... Excuse me, Q, you're no Starfleet Admiral. Not even with one such as a well-dressed that you tried to kill us. Beach lounge. I'm sorry, those were not Pew Pew laser beams. That was a TR-114. Sorry, TR-116. B. Serial number 552317 Mark 1, 7.62 caliber, transporter and chemical propellant. However, what is it you want, Q? Uh, like what? Oh, uh, nads. Sutherland, come in. Multiple Klingon ships that ran a strafing run. Q, how many confused Klingons just bombed the base? Okay, I'll be right there. Yes, perhaps we should go pew pew some bad guys. <sighs> Beam us up. Let's go see how well this new build's going to work. Right then, what do we have? Transmission from the Dom Domino Justicia. And, oh good, you made it back on board as well. Well on our way, power up the weapons. 
Let's see how well this goes. So, if I remember correctly, we go for emergency weapons, surgical strikes, overload systems, Omega, and then blow them away. I'm sorry, we're trying to blow up my forward guns. That's the place. I'll teach it. Yoink. And... Yoink. F. It could be doing better. Surgical up again, high yield. Might have to consider switching that to beam overload. Uh, maybe not. Getting reasonable responses here. Oh, there we go. On the other hand, beam overload does only use to be one array, and you have to time it quickly. Well, it ends up hitting one of the omnidirectional arrays in the back and doing absolutely sod all. Anyhow, unfortunately that was only the pilot and several ships entered the atmosphere. Uh, terrific. Scans the atmosphere. Alternately we could just go down and sniff briefly. Where are they? Cursory strafing run on the base, then they blasted a the hole right in the surface of the planet. Tunnel network? Why didn't you pick that up before? And, uh, yeah. Fine, fair enough, what are our options? Let's, uh, what, take the ship in? That can't be safe. Okay, that's nice, you better be right. Lucky us, right, let's begin the navigation vectors. Get into position for entry. Capture an interplanetary criminal. Pels of being an admiral, there's always paperwork. And now turn the nose. Full impulses not recommended. Ah, right, gates. Come on then. Maneuvering thrusters. You know, if you just said point towards the planet, we could have just done that. Shields on maximum. All hands. Brown alert. I repeat, brown alert. And grab onto something. And. Yeah, 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 oh, ha, 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 very clever, we're in. Uh, nicely done, right. I begin to see why full impulse is not recommended. And th this is less a planet, it's more of a hollow series of caves, isn't it? What did they hide down there? Hello, Klingons, we're here to hurt you again. Stable. There we go. Collapse the shields with the first couple of volleys. And then proceed to shreds with the rest. You know, I might be about to change my mind over the uh, surgical strikes. It's kind of handy. Anyhow, Klingons are gone, so what have we got down here? And they destroyed some kind of station. Scans the debris. structure was internally reinforced so they had to demolish it and well we need to go what's going on here something else is unusual let's go check it out what do you mean unusual oh uh, right well let's go check it out it's over here by the looks of it that's a very yeah unusual's not the word did somebody crash an asteroid into the planet okay there's been some kind of cave-in and there's no way for us to get it out. That's unfortunate. Oh dear. This isn't a good time, Q. Yeah, terrific. Thank you so much. Oh, shiny. Right, we have an active station and what appears to be a... Yeah, that. pretty sure that's a force field. And then what appears to be a lot of lava. Oh dear. This is... this is not good. This is very not good. Station is functional and it's such a right, give me more details on the rock formation. Ah, terrific. And the station, the refinement and or manufacturing. Right, let's beam over to investigate. Because the Klingons can't possibly be annoyed at the thought of us turning up and poking around in their secrets, can they? Right then, one abandoned Klingon base. There may be optional items to investigate. Well, let's go poke about. And the moment they beam down, the Klingons opened up. Terrific, and we've got some landing parties. 
Well, let's go shoot some Klingons. Haven't had to do that for a couple of seasons. Uh, shotgun time, I think. Right, we'll just dippy toes, dippy toes around the corner here. Uh -huh, there are the Klingons. And there's a grenade! Oh, sword master, come on. No, you don't. And there we go, right. Bait him away. Power shield neatly blocked him. Get around on the flank. And oh no, he's dead. Fine. We'll just shoot a couple more. I'm not even going to waste vaporizing on that one. Or that one. You, however, get the tribal scan out. Come on, I want an exposed, Danny. Oh, never mind. I'll just settle for... Oh, there we go. Vaporised. Ha ha. Mako bullets, ladies and gentlemen. Good for anything that ails you. If whatever ails you is a Klingon with a gun. Right, search the computer logs. Okay, rudimentary production on statistics. And production was shut down for three days while they took over the facility. Meaning they found something interesting. Okay, Klingons... Yeah, Klingons have scientists. I know, it's a shocker, isn't it? Some of them are even good. Hell, there are even some good Klingon doctors. Right, what's going on here? Um, Bernie Bernie, I would guess. Yep, are we in danger from the torpedoes? No, they should be able to explode them. Why did it go off? Okay, silicon in the debris. Okay, um, right. So... Silicon's rather a common element. They got sand in the... Well, sand is technically silicon oxide, not straight silicon, but, yeah, you know what I mean. Right. Sir, Klingons in the next room. The saboteurs in the starboard bow, Captain. And there are bullets in their heads. Come on. It... Well, it did no damage. I mean, clearly that was a clean headshot. Right. Take down the Targ Handler. If only because we have enough roast Targ in the larder already and I, this stuff doesn't keep too well. We tried having fresh Targ on board the Sutherland once. It uh, They ate three ensigns before we vaporised them and dumped the remains to space. Right, so let's have a look at these warp cores. First of all, investigate the equipment. Pocket the latinum. And they were trying to, right, disarm the bombs. The highly obvious bombs. The ones I walked right past earlier. Okay, first bomb is off. Second bomb is off. And bomb number three is over here. And off. Yay. Okay, excellent. And away team here. Okay. What about this facility? Uh, terrific. Well, if you don't mind, I'm going to scan the ore first, because I want to see what's going on here. There we are. And right, so prime ingredient in the new torpedo technology. Anything else? Fair amount of silicon in the ore. Oh, uh, right. Record the findings for analysis. This must be what Q wants us to wake out. In the meantime, any details on the process? Right, so they pull the silicon out, and yeah, then they can pack the rest of the ore and let's move on. So if you screw up your refining process, your warhead blows up. Well, that's kind of awkward, but hey, just get the Klingons a number of one-legged stools and a big stirring rod, and well, if it worked for the Victorians, it'll work for them. Right, away team here, beam us aboard, we're done, and we'll pull back to the prior chamber. Uh, right, okay, fine, so he, the author did think of the fact that we'd be able to look about before we left. Anyhow, we'll just loot the place dry. Oh, small hypo. Much good it did him. And then pull back to the previous chamber where no doubt Q will appear again. Do we have a Q? Do we have a Q? Signals the ship. Ooh, belay that. Belay that, belay that. Not now, not now. Cargo over here. Torpedoes, torpedoes, torpedoes. What have they got? New torpedo warheads. 
10%, maybe more of a tricobalt device. Well, good luck. I mean, they unless they have a new propulsion system on those things, we'll just shoot them down or track to repulse them down, same as the old kind. Right, sorry, Ops, we're done here. Beam us up. Right then, we have a Klingon, and yes, I am back on the bridge. Multiple targets remain, a few embed laying mines. Lucky us, lock weapons onto target, close it up, and emergency power, high yield, surgical, omega, half throttle, oh, and as well. Fire, Z anti I've got to shoot this around, but it didn't work very much. All the guns are back, there we go. He's dead, and well, much good that regenerative shield array did him. Right, one disabled Klingon ship. Let's be nice and merciful. And we need to get out of here. Um, can we save the Klingons? I mean, I know it's. A stupidly heroic thing to do but no we can't save the Klingons right cut to half speed and then burn run away run away run away lots of explosions that's no planet it was a fully armed and operational battle station we were lucky still at least it wasn't a black hole and we have a hail from the Domino Justitia. Put Captain Nimi on the screen. We discovered some interesting ore. Okay, Helm laying a course. No doubt Q will show up and crash the meeting. Then again, I suppose she was kind of helpful if her goal was to stop the Klingons using those new torpedoes. All stop and uh, terrific Q. Uh, immediate court martial. Uh, not now? Uh, apparently I've not been given a choice. Wow, the accused will step forward. Stay calm everyone, I'll take care of this. Wow, I haven't... The old Earth space dock, I haven't seen this in years. Oh wow, memory lane ladies and gentlemen. Where are we? It's... no, they must be apparitions. Noted. Well, sick joke, maybe, maybe not. Morning, Captain. How are things? Um, thanks. I hope it doesn't come to that, largely because a firefight with a Q is not a good idea. Anyhow, Q... How do you plead? Not guilty. Wrong answer. How are we supposed to defend ourselves? Like that, apparently. Come on, down you go. Right, sort of. Okay. Really, more sanctions? Fine. Any more Q? Oh, right, no, there's one up there. Excuse me, I'm sure this is contempt being up on the desk, but there you go. Right, next. Let this be a lesson for the Qs. The first are getting too cocky, too forward. Yeah. Terrific. How can you possibly respond to those charges? Well, you didn't give us many options, did you? Uh, untrue. We dealt with an unusual substance. No, the substance displayed certain traits, like it spontaneously blew up Klingons. Hmm. Some traits like... Being a lie. Of course, bioluminescent, silicon based. Were the Klingons trying to use Horta? Okay. The silicon in the ore's substance. The Klingons brought in the science team to take a look. The premature warhead detonation. Yes, exactly. And I wouldn't be too happy about Kill for make weapons either, would you? Well, no, fair enough. I hope that means the charade is over. Still, you can't admit that I proved you wrong, can you? Eh, uh, thank goodness this is over. 
Right, with no additional Q system. Yes, it could be useful. Understood. Let's go see how this... Uh... Oh, right, there you are. Ah, Escort, thank you. Ready to be mouth here. Thank you so much. And that was Flashpoint Q by Rogue Enterprise. Yeah, <sighs> not a bad little mission, actually. Nice touch to Farpoint Station. Couple of good callbacks. Eh, I'm not sure how old this one is, actually, because it's using the old Earth space dock. Some of the older mission types could be a while back, but it's pretty decent if it is. It stood the test of time well. However, that'll be a five stars and a dilithium tip. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I have been Yisrael. That has been Flashpoint Q. Farewell.